All right, so this is a continuation of the previous video. The difference is instead of having just a noise map reveal or fade out the object, we're going to use, uh, we're going to do it in a directional fashion. So what I have is this text and I've converted to VDB. Uh, the settings are the same as before. So the distance VDB is name density and we've turned on fill interior. And then we, I've just applied a VDB smooth to make it slightly rounded. Okay. Now, uh, what we want to start off with is we'll take a box and we'll make it, we'll make the box bigger than my text. Uh, we'll, I'll just copy paste the VDB from Polygon from here. And the only thing I want to change is I want to change the exterior band voxels. And I'll explain this in a second, but what it does is it sort of uh, increases the surrounding area. Okay, now uh, we're going to do the same uh, noise effect on this. So we're going to take a warp. So we're going to take a volume warp. And let's keep this at 0 0.02. We don't need it like very high resolution. But anyway, so jump in here and the process is going to be exactly the same. So just take a turbulent noise. We're going to take an add and we will add the turbulence noise with the existing density and you should get that. Now the change you want to make is uh, lower the roughness and change this to original purlin. And there you go. You can see the problem when the, uh, when the volume expands and it touches the boundary, you end up getting these blank spaces. So that is why you need to increase the uh, exterior band voxels. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to increase the frequency to a little bit. Okay, like uh, about, yeah, about that much is okay. And then just come back up here and increase this to about 30. See, there you go. So this gives you, you know, what you need. Okay, and then the rest is fairly simple. I'm going to animate this. So just take a transform. And we're going to animate this, uh, like let's come to 120. I'll set a keyframe and then come here. I'll just take it up there. Okay. And then just take a, take a VDB combine and connect these two together and change the operation to SDF intersection. And then if you play this, you should start seeing your text you know, sort of come in. Okay. Now, in order to make it look a little more interesting, we can make a couple of changes. So firstly, within the turbulent noise, promote the uh, offset parameters. And then secondly, take the frequency in Y axis and make it about 0 0.9. So it will stretch out a little bit. And what that looks like is like it's sort of like melting. So it looks a little more interesting. And then along with that, and make sure that the roughness is low. Like if the roughness is too high, then it won't, it won't look very nice. Like it won't look like it's melting. It'll look more rough. Okay. So keep it at around 0.2 or 0.3. That'll be better. Okay. And then, uh, if you want, you can just animate the, uh, offset value in the Y axis. So just take, a uh, at time. And what this should do is it should just give you like a slight bit of animation. Uh, on the whole thing. See, so it looks a little bit interesting. And uh, that's basically it. So then you can just convert it back. If you want to soften it up, you can still apply another uh, VDB smooth. But let's convert it first and see what we get. So we'll do convert VDB and convert it to polygons. Now you're getting like these really sharp lines. So what you can do is you can take another VDB smooth in the middle and see, there you go. So you should get, you know, a much more softer result. And that's basically it. So this is, you know, one more technique on how you can use VDB to sort of fade or reveal objects.